Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. After September 2020, Huawei's Kirin chips have been under pressure. However, with the release of the Mate 60 series in August 2023, Kirin 9000S returned to the mobile phone chip market with the status of the king. Although the performance was once questioned and was said to be similar to Qualcomm Snapdragon 888, the reasons behind it are actually complicated. Process is one aspect. For example, Apple A17 uses a 3 nanometers process. Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 uses a 4 nanometers process, and Kirin 9000S is said to use a 7 nanometers process, but no one knows the exact situation. On the other hand, due to the impact of the ARM ban, Huawei only owns the ARM V8 architecture and has not been authorized by V9 or updated IP cores. Therefore, it can only develop based on the old architecture and old IP and its performance is naturally limited. Although the hyperthreading technology advocated by Huawei is better than 5 nanometers on the 7 nanometers process, the actual performance is still not as good, resulting in performance lag. With the release of new phones such as the P70 and Mate 70, Huawei has to upgrade its Kirin chips to avoid becoming a shortcoming and affecting its reputation and sales. Recently, news came that Huawei will launch a new Kirin chip with a large core and hyperthreading design, aiming to be as close to 3 nanometers chips in performance. This means that Huawei must go all out to occupy the market again through technological innovation. 1. Reshape technical strength. All large cores. Hyperthreading design. Recent news shows that Huawei's new generation Kirin chip will adopt a full core. Hyperthreading design. Aiming to achieve performance beyond the pass. The so-called all-big core design means that all CPU cores are composed of the same IP core and have the same frequency without the participation of small cores, thereby improving overall performance. Take Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 as an example. It adopts an 8-core 4-cluster design, including super cores, large cores and small cores. Huawei's new generation of chips will achieve a full core composition, no more frequency differences, and strive to soar in performance. Hyperthreading technology is a physical large core that can process two threads at the same time, allowing one core to be used as two cores, transforming eight cores into 16 cores. This technology has already appeared on Kirin 9000S, making 8 cores behave like 12 cores. Generally, the combination of these two technologies laid the foundation for Huawei's Kirin chip breakthrough. 2. Performance challenges and technological breakthroughs. The all large core Hyperthreading design of Huawei's new generation, Kirin chip, is undoubtedly a technical challenge and breakthrough. The performance improvement brought by the all-large core design will enable Huawei to re-establish its competitiveness in the market and be on par with 3 nanometers chips. However, this design also faces potential problems the most obvious being heat. The all-large core and hyperthreading design will inevitably increase the energy consumption of the chip, which will lead to heating problems. However, 
Huawei is not unprepared in this regard. The blessing of Hongmeng's system and high-quality heat dissipation design will alleviate this problem to a certain extent. The future of Kirin chips will depend on Huawei's technological innovation capabilities and wisdom in dealing with crises. How to find a balance between performance and heat dissipation will be an urgent problem for Huawei's R&D team to solve. 3. Considerations other than technology In addition to technological innovation, Huawei also needs to consider other factors when launching a new Kirin chip. Many factors such as market demand, cost control, and competitors will affect Huawei's decision-making. How to strike a balance between performance and cost, and how to deal with pressure from competitors such as Qualcomm and Apple, are all issues that Huawei needs to think about. At the same time, user experience is also a factor that cannot be ignored. Huawei's chip upgrade is not only an improvement in product specifications, but also a sublimation of user experience. Therefore, when launching a new Kirin chip, Huawei needs to consider all aspects to ensure that the product is competitive in the market. The new design of Huawei's Kirin chip fully demonstrates Huawei's persistent pursuit of technology and innovative spirit. Faced with market challenges and pressure, Huawei chose to break through the traditional framework and try a full-core, hyper-threading design, hoping to regain market share through technology upgrades. However, technological progress is always accompanied by uncertainties and risks. While improving performance, Huawei also needs to carefully deal with potential problems to ensure product quality and user experience. As consumers, China expects Huawei's Kirin chips to bring better performance through new designs. It also hopes that Huawei can stand out in market competition and provide consumers with better products and services. In an era of rapid technological advancement, only by continuous innovation and pursuit of excellence can we remain invincible in the fierce market competition. I hope Huawei will go further and further on the road of Kirin chips and bring more surprises and patronage to users.